Hey YouTube, just a real quick video here. Uh, I like to call this one uh, Silver Variety is the Spice of Life. Um, when I first started stacking silver, I pretty much exclusively stacked Constitutional Silver and American Eagles. Um, that got pretty boring pretty fast. Um, even with the Constitutional, I pretty much only was interested in Mercury Dimes. So I was grabbing Mercury Dimes when I could find them. If I couldn't find Mercury Dimes, I was grabbing American Eagles. Um, then I kind of got into halves and some of the other constitutional, but um, for the first year of my stacking, most of it was um, constitutional and uh, American Eagles, <coughs> Excuse me, which, um, like I said, got pretty boring pretty fast. So um, I just would encourage you, if you are at the point in your stacking, maybe you're a fairly new stacker and you're just stacking a couple things, I'd encourage you to branch out and uh, you know get some other stuff and to see what you think of it. Um, I kind of slowly started grabbing other things just because I was bored with the Eagles and the uh, in the Constitutional, and so I started getting kind of some more generic and um, just getting into bars and some bigger bars and that kind of stuff. And all those things have been good for my stacking because they've kind of remotivated me once I've gotten into something and I've you know tried to keep my eye out, eye out for it and it's excited me when I found it and then bought it. So um, you know I really think variety is good from from in that point of you just because it'll keep you stacking and keep you motivated. Um, it's also good, I think, just for your portfolio to have some different stuff. Um, you know, if you just have all eagles, yeah, that's really easy when you go to sell. And then there's definitely benefits. Eagles are recognizable, all that stuff. There's benefits to whatever kind of silver you have. But I think uh, variety is good. Um, I think when you go to sell, if you've got a varied collection, um, it's going to be a good thing and you're going to hopefully get a little more money out of it. Um, you know, you never know what stuff's gonna go, gonna go up. You know, stuff that um, I've got for, um, you know, good prices. I've seen go up even like things that are semi numismatic, like uh, you know, kookaburras and um, the Zombuck series and things like that um, have gone up more than something just a generic roundwood. So I think having a variety is good, and it's good for your portfolio not to have all your eggs in one basket. Um, so I just would encourage you to branch out a little bit with your silver collection. Um, I'm showing off here some uh, some cool Canadian silver. Um, not all these are silver. This is their 67 commemorative set. Um, but the dime upward is silver. And it's got the some cool designs on them. But anyway, I, I kind of, for a long time, I, I wouldn't grab any of the Canadian when I would see it. Um, but now, you know, if I see Canadian at my local coin shop, I'll, gra I'll grab it really quick because I get it for melt and... Um, even when it's like in a set like this, he doesn't care. He just wants to get out of it the the melt. So um, I've got some cool stuff from my local coin shop for melt because it's been foreign silver. Um, and there are some cons stuff in foreign silver, but to me it all adds up and it's you know it's all silver. All of it just continues to make the stack grow. So I just would encourage you guys, um, you know, especially if you feel like you're hitting a wall with your silver, to branch out and uh, try getting into some other things because there's lots of cool stuff out there. And it seems like whenever I've kind of switched gears and started hunting for something else, it's kind of remotivated me. And I feel like now I've got a pretty balanced stack as far as constitutional and generic. And, um, you know, I've got some semi numismatic stuff. And, um, you know, really the only thing I don't, I haven't gotten into is the numismatic, the slabbed kind of coins and that, those things. But um, honestly, it's just because I'm fairly ignorant on those. I don't know enough. I don't feel like to get into that and to not lose money. So, um, but anyway, I've kind of. I've tried to vary my stack um, through the years and um, it's allowed me to have more fun with it and I think to stack more silver because of it. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Take care. God bless.